Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will discuss about the HDMI display interface for the image processing so well real-time edge detection. Okay. Um, the HDMI interface is very popular uh, for many systems and it is like the standard uh, display interface. So if you uh, uh, search to Google and you will get the wiki about the HDMI. Okay, and let's go down here and you will see different type of the HDMI. So this is stand A, mini C, micro D. Okay, these three uh, is very, uh, are very popular uh, for our normal life. Okay. So uh, at the first time, if you take a look at the pin, and you will, you maybe, you maybe think it's too many pin, and the HDMI will be very hard to control and uh, communicate. But actually, it's not. And uh, let's take a look at one ball, one FPGA ball, uh, from Digiland company. Okay. So this is a developer ball, and it is for the Silex ZYNQ, okay? And you will, uh, you maybe notice there is two HDMI interface here. Uh, one is here, is out. Another one is here, is in. Um, let's take a look at the um, Sigmatica for the uh, HDMI uh, interface, okay? So if you go down here, cl click here, you will get the schematic and you go to the page four so page four you will see the uh, HTMI interface schematic okay so uh, for each uh, HTMI uh, interface there is um, 19 pin from 1 to 90 let's go back to the week you can uh, get every pin defined definition is here. So this is uh, standard A, uh, the pin out. This is pin definition for each one. This is type A, okay. Uh, this is uh, every detailed description about the HTMI interface, okay. From the schematic, uh, the first things we take a look is uh, um, here, SDA and SCL. This is uh, I2C communication. Okay, so um, the I2C communication is for the FPGA to get the information of the display. Uh, so um, different LCD have the different uh, display capability. For example, the resolution, uh, it will be different. So the FPGA um, have to um, need to know the information, then it know send, how to send, uh, for example, what kind of resolution image to the display to show, okay? So this is for the uh, for the FPGA uh, communication port with the uh, LCD. Okay, so you will, uh, maybe you will notice here, this is only the level shift, okay? This is only level shift. This side is for the FPGA side. This is a uh, 3.3 wall, okay? This side is for the uh, HDMI uh, side. This is for 5 wall. Because the uh, HDMI uh, interface, the voltage is 5 volt. So it need the level shift to change the, um, to change the um, voltage level. And uh, um, except the um, I2C, the only thing is like a clock. Clock, data 1, data 0, data 1, data 2, okay. So the interface actually is very, very simple. So the, this is the differential uh, pair, differential pair, clock, differential pair, date zero, differential pair, and date one, differential pair, data two. And the, 
zero one two is for RGB. Okay, is each channel for each color, and this is clock. The differential pair is uh, has a lot of uh, benefit for the uh, signal uh, integrity. So uh, such things like uh, cancel the noise. Okay, and uh, it can be longer and uh, and. Uh, and there is lots of uh, um, benefit for the signal integrity. Okay, so uh, from the from the schematic, uh, you will see uh, actually the HDMI uh, interface is quite simple, and uh, and uh, so, um, we can get the system like this. So this is our um, um, system. Uh, this side is for the camera. Uh, camera interface uh, we discussed it uh, in previous video okay so this side is uh, mm, display interface so this is i to c communication clock date zero date one and date two okay so this is differential pair and so we can uh, furthermore simplify the system like this okay so this is more simple uh, clock Data, data 0, data 1, data 2. So the HDMI interface is quite simple. And if you already know the LCD's display information, such as the resolution, uh, like um, you already know the resolution of the uh, LCD, you even can uh, save this uh, I2C. You, uh, you no need I2C communication anymore. And you only know this uh, uh, clock and the data. So uh, we can see the HDMI is uh, uh, for the hardware design is quite simple. Okay. And uh, so um, we discuss about the hardware. Uh, take a look a little bit uh, about the software, about the web log software, about the HDMI. Okay. The HDMI, the kernel of the HDMI uh, transmit is uh, TMDS uh, format. This is TMDS format. It is convert to AB to 10B data. Okay. The most important thing is the encode, the data encode. Convert, this is RGB. Okay. This is RGB each channel, and this is a pixel clock. And then we will to convert to 8B data to 10B T TMDS uh, code, okay? Then uh, transmit out. And here, this is displayed port, and it will reverse the RGB, okay? So, um, uh, actually, for uh, FPGA coding, it's also uh, not very difficult to to control the HDMI interface. Okay, so uh, that's that's this is the uh, uh, HDMI display interface. Um, um, so next video we will go through uh, go inside the FPGA. And uh, we will uh, to take a look at the sub sub module and the module uh, interface coding for the FPGA. Okay, uh, for the Sobo real time edge detection, the actually uh, module interface coding inside FPGA. Okay, okay. So um, that's it. Uh, this this is Michael. Uh, I hope you like it and support us, subscribe us. Thank you. Thank you very much.